you serious? Now it's working. Alright, we got a problem, you guys. Welcome back to the channel. Of course, I appreciate all the love and support. Um, on today's video, did we break it or did we not break it? That is the question. So I'm going to make my way over to AZ Motor Trends and I'm going to talk to Randy once I get over there. And we're going to see exactly what the situation is Ugh. with Optimus Prime's deal. All right. Comment down below. Let me know if you guys know what it could be next that I'm going over there for if I'm going to AZ Motor Trends. Um, yeah, I got to watch this right here because I definitely don't want to scrape and definitely don't want to scuff on those things because my neighbor decided to cut down his trees. And look how close we're getting, but I'm not going to touch that. Nope. We're good. I ain't going to touch that. Um, look at that. Damn, man. My man. You got to throw that away, bro. Either way. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and make my way over there. You guys, off topic as opposed to uh, what I'm going to talk about today. Uh, once I get over there, like I said, comment down below what you guys think it is that I'm on over there to tweak up. But don't skip. Don't skip this part right here and go straight to like where you see me at the shop and all that stuff. Straight up comment down below what you guys think it is that I'm going to be uh, taking care of uh, with Prime. So at the shop. But you guys uh, requested that I do some videos. Uh, I got messages on Instagram and some from YouTube uh, with you guys asking for like some videos uh, of me doing some flybys or something like that. You guys want to hear the exhaust? You guys want to hear when I uh, when it shifts points and all that? Uh, the shift points, how it sounds like with the supercharger and all that good stuff. But you actually want to hear it from the outside of the car. And what I mean about being from the outside of the car is not really um, just like. You know, mount, mounting the GoPro, I should say. Not really mounting the GoPro and putting it somewhere where you're just going to hear the exhaust and all that good stuff. No, no. What I'm thinking about doing is taking a, a tripod and putting it up somewhere. You know, of course, I'm going to be in the middle of nowhere. You know, I don't want to be in traffic and all that stuff. And I don't want to hear no noise, no nothing. I just want you guys to hear just the supercharger when I'm shifting, uh, when I'm running through the paddles. Now, keep in mind, with my supercharger... I'm gonna talk you guys' ears out till we get over there. Uh, with my supercharger, yes, the car is automatic, uh, but it's a different uh, kind of a setup because the rear end has been changed on Prime. My oh, man, he got real close. The rear end has been changed on Prime, and I put the SS rear end, so I have a 2012 SS rear end, but and I went from 292 ratio to 345 uh, ratio. Uh, on the gears now normally if I went with the automatic setup I would have went to the 323 ratio but I went 345 reason being is because the car is half manual half automatic and what I mean by that is the back end of the car is manual the front end of the car is automatic because the tranny is automatic but the back end of the car with that rear end is for a manual Camaro SS so what we did was uh, you know once we got it all installed I noticed with my tune also you know when you shift uh, the ECU and the TCU has been you know remapped and all that good stuff so when you shift it's not gonna shift like just like a regular car you know like it won't shift for you it's not Tiptronic you know Tiptronic will shift for you if you don't shift uh, so with this if you don't shift man you're gonna keep it in high rpms that's why back in the day I before my supercharger I used to get a lot more pops back there a lot more crackle and pops but now the pressure has been taken from the back of the car to the front because i got that supercharger set up so there's not that much pressure going back there to the exhaust i mean i still get a couple of pops here and there and hopefully when i make that video i can actually listen to it um, and hold it up on high gears like i used to because i'm gonna make a video on exactly how i did it before so that way i can walk you guys through it that's been a question you guys have asked me for quite some time so I just want to make sure all my priminators out there know that I'm not going to leave you guys hanging and don't think that I'm going to answer you guys' questions because 99.9% .9 of the questions I answer, the only time I don't answer is if it's like a spam email or a spam inbox message or whatever, whatnot, dude. Like sometimes you just got to be careful, man. Once you start popping, you know, your name starts popping, you, all of a sudden, you know, they want to mess with your account. So either way, because now you're being known. But either way, definitely gonna do a video on that. On today's video, I'm making my way over there now and 
once I get over there, I'm gonna get with Randy and we're gonna see exactly at Easy Motor Trends what we think the problem could be. Um, and yeah, let's just go ahead and take it over there and go from there, bro. Holla. Just uh, pulling up to the shop right now, and we're gonna just drive uh, straight to the bank. I'm not gonna park in the front. I'm gonna take the car straight there to the bank, and let's see what the uh, Easy Motor Trends. You know what I'm saying? This is Randy's truck right here, and that's his Lexus too, right there. Hard park. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing to do. Oh man! All right, cool. Yeah, let's go ahead. I oh, mean, that neck though. Where the head though? All right, let's make our way around. I still haven't figured out what it is, huh? <laughs> that I'm here for. Hold on, let me see. There's something behind me. That's what I'm here for. It's not helping. Yeah, we'll just leave it right here for now. Let's get out. Alright you guys, so I'm here with Prem. There's tape right here on the side. So you already know what that means. That means the bumper is coming off. So at this point, I might as well tell you guys exactly why I'm here. Um, the reason why I'm here is because my backup camera, every now and then I have the GM backup camera that I added on there from the MyLink radio that I added as well, that I never had in the beginning, um, is on the car right now. But sometimes once in a blue moon when we work on the car, and uh, you know we take the bumper off it's like a hit or miss when you reconnect it back together um, where the camera will work for a long time when you hit reverse and then after some time it might not work when you hit reverse uh, and mainly it happened because when I got into the accident the bumper flew off so when we snapped it off it you know pulled the wire in half so we had to reconnect that wire to make it work so right now we got it all taped up and this is a tip of advice anytime you remove your bumper go ahead and put some of this tape right here so that way your edges never touch when you're getting ready to put it back on and just peel it off nice and gently and you should be good to go. Let's get it. All right, you guys, so Randy is grabbing a rib nut because when they got the car fixed, they never put it back over here. So my bumper would sag a little bit. And I was like, what the hell? And he noticed that it didn't have anything there like it does here. And mind you, I have no clue why it's so dirty like this right here. I don't know why, but... See, he likes perfection, you know what I'm saying? He likes to make sure stuff is perfect, you know? Like, he catches those little things, you guys. So when you guys come down here, He's gonna give you guys the top quality that you're looking for. Just like how he did my sound system. 
He did my vertical doors. He did my high wing spoiler. They also did uh, the wide body kit and installed that when I brought it to them, you know. And a lot of people with the wide body, what they do is they just put the they just put the two way the double sided tape on here and then stick them on. He didn't feel comfortable like that, so he put a screw in each one, which secured it like nobody's business. So just like you see on these. So I like that. All right, you guys, so I had to come back in here and sit down in the AC because it's really hot over there, but uh, we got the wires uh, soldered up this time around and not just connected uh, like they were put before. Um, and it's just crazy, bro, because I can't see anything when I hit the re reverse. So hopefully this fixes it because I want to be able to see what's going on behind me because I can't park the car straight forward because this front splitter is four inches off the ground. So hopefully this solves what we're trying to do. We're gonna find out because I'm gonna do a test run. Well, I'm gonna start the car and put in reverse before we put the bumper on and see what happens. So hopefully, cross your fingers, you guys. All right, you guys, welcome back. So, I just left AZ Motor Trends and uh, shout out to Randy and the staff for finally, finally, finally getting my backup camera to work. Um, so, when I was involved in that accident where that drunk driver blew that red light and she hit Prime, um, my bumper back there just flew right off uh, when I got hit so what it did was it disconnected the wire uh, that that connects to the uh, backup camera so you got to make sure when it's connected it's connected properly because just a little bit if it's not connected correct like a, a positive or a negative on the wires is not is, is, is set up right then it, it won't come on now Randy and them got the connection done perfect uh, so they fixed it for me the last time one of the last times when I did the wide body, I believe it was, because they had to remove the back bumper. But, not where the power and the ground is set up is my issue, because I'm getting the, the power, because every now and then it'll turn on. It's the video, I'm not getting video. Every now and then it'll come on, sometimes it won't. So, there was a different area where the wire goes up the side of the car, and that part had a connection as well. And they said it was just a little bit off, but what they did was they cleaned up the wires and I guess they made them staggered is what they call it. And uh, then they soldered them together. So now we should be completely fine. Full picture should be good to go. I can see now when I reverse the car. You got to remember if you drive a Camaro out there or, or maybe not a Camaro, but for those guys that drive a Camaro out there, um, you know, you can see perfect with my uh, glass skin window louvers back there. But as you notice right behind me, I don't have that little side window that shows. I don't know if you guys saw that because I have the covers on the side where they're wrapped. So I can't see out of those little side windows that they don't work for me anymore. They're not, they're not functional anymore. Um, so it's very important that when I reverse, I can see where I'm going behind me. So I don't want to bump into somebody's car thinking, am I close enough or not? Or I don't want to bump into a pole when I'm reversing. So it's very important. So um, if you guys don't have the MyLink radio, Make sure you get the MyLink radio. As you can see right there, I have it. I didn't have it when I got the car, so I added it afterwards. And you can buy it off of, you can buy the MyLink radio off of eBay, um, but you're gonna, with the brain, make sure you get it with the brain. But you're gonna have to send it over to gen5diy.com, or you're gonna send over just the brain, not the monitor. And then he's gonna use your VIN number and program it. He'll send it to GM and program it to your Camaro, where people can't just sit here and just be swapping out radios. Somebody, you know, God forbid, breaks into your car. They're not. They're not gonna go for that because you have to get it programmed, and, and they'll see you got a report on there. The moment you would think you're gonna report that to your insurance, the moment something like that was to happen. So. The nice thing about it is, when you're doing that, you want to just go ahead and order uh, the backup, the GM backup camera at the same time. And Gen 5 DIY will send you the whole harness kit with everything. So, it's I really love it, and it made it sound a lot better. The speakers play a lot more crisp. It's going to have different settings on that than it would on a regular radio that it comes with. Um, at the same time, it looks really nice too with that touchscreen. So, 
Either way, I appreciate you guys jumping in and tuning in with me and watching exactly what's going on. Uh, get yours set up, man. That's all I got to say is get yours set up because I'm super excited. I got mine set up. I got more videos coming. I'm going to do my flyby video uh, as soon as the weather kind of cools down a little bit because it, if, if anybody out there knows that has a supercharger or turbo or twin turbo, whatever the case may be, uh, you never want to sit here and run it, you know, while you're it's 110 degrees outside it's not good for it it's just gonna have a lot of lag it's not gonna perform as if it's like 70 degrees outside so i will have that video coming here soon in the meantime between time if it's your first time on my page make sure you hit that subscribe button show your boys some love you know give this video a thumbs up hit that notification bell and most importantly don't skip the ads because that's how i get rewarded you know what i'm saying i'm trying to bring home the zl1 as the next project or maybe even the corvette c8 i gotta see what that thing looks like i gotta sit in it and see what the you know what i mean i heard it's made for you know taller people now i'm six foot you know 220 i gotta make sure i fit in that car comfortable i know i do in the zl1 so we're gonna compare apples to apples let me know in the comments down below what you guys think I should go for. Should I just stick to the Camaro gang and get myself the ZL1 that I've been dreaming of this whole time? Or should I jump into Corvette C8 and start a whole new project? What do you guys think? Let me know down below. But in the meantime, between time, A. Dilla, Promenader, out. Love you guys.